Hey friends, Sky Roby here with a really pretty cool video I thought about doing. This right here is my original Nintendo from the 1980s. Yes, it still works. Yes, it still has good controllers. Yes, it still reads the cartridges. Now, the other day we were cleaning my mom's closet out and we found something wrapped in a towel that I thought was pretty cool and I wanted to show you all. So most of the time when you get a new console, you rip it open, you throw it onto your TV and then you're done. Well, that was not the case for my family because look what I found in the closet after helping my mom clean. Yes, friends, this is the original box that the Nintendo came in. It's in perfect condition, no creases. It was wrapped in a towel. It's very nice. I think this is a nice find only because I'm nostalgic for this stuff. Plus, now I have the complete set that this little guy was in to begin with. So everything is complete, but that's not the only thing. Check this out. It also has the original styrofoam set. What's in this original styrofoam set, you ask? Let's see what we have. First off, inside this, we have all the packaging. The original packaging is here. Second of all, we even have the original twisty ties that went along around the cables. Yes, they're there, and they're kind of thick compared to the normal cables we have. Next. We have AV cables, unopened and in the package. Really cool. Some of you old school gamers might remember this. We used to have these things called RF adapters that would connect to the back of the TV and then connect to your coax cable and then connect to your console. Well, here is the unopened RF package, completely intact. Those two forks would screw into the back of your TV and then here's the coax connection. That's when your Nintendo would plug into that, other systems as well, but this was kind of what we had back in the 80s. Yes, this is really old, but still pretty cool to find. And what do we have here? Instruction manuals. Yes, they're in perfect condition. I was always a big fan of having instruction manuals with the Nintendo products. I remember when you bought the Nintendo games, it came with some sort of poster and some sort of instruction manual for you to record your thoughts in the very back on the blank pages. First off here, we have the control deck instruction manual. It looks like it's never even been open. There are quick instructions on how to get things going, how to plug things up, schematics. Also in the very back, there is a list of parts you can buy. The list of parts include an AC adapter, an RF switch, controllers for $15. You had um, instruction manuals. You can buy the instruction manuals for $1.75. And this was pretty cool. Friends, back in the day, we didn't have Google to look up to where we could search the PDF for these instruction manuals. You have to order off for them back in the 1980s and 1990s. I think that's still a pretty cool idea. Um, you could also buy game maps in here for a dollar, uh, game pack manuals for $1.25. So Nintendo really took care of their customers. You just had to spend over a few more dollars to get those extra things you wanted. Next is the Zapper control manual. Perfect condition again. Again, schematics for the actual um, controller, schematics for the actual Zapper. And in the back, it has another ordering section of parts you can order. Uh, let's see, so you could order Rob parts, you could order more manuals, um, blocks, game pack sleeves for a dollar, 3D glasses, joystick knobs for your NES Advantage, which was kind of a little NES joystick that used to plug up, zapper manual, perfect condition. Now the last piece I want to show you something really cool, really cool that I really enjoyed um, back in the day was every time you bought some Nintendo, you got a Nintendo Power advertisement. It came in, in cartridges, it came in magazines, it came in um, console packages. So in this case, blast more power out of your Nintendo game system. Look at that dude. He's having a good time. Inside, learn how to play better, faster, smarter. Nintendo powers the video game information source that arrives in your mailbox six times a year. Six times a year, really? I think that's pretty cool. Um, and get the latest uh, game release information with subscription to Nintendo Power. Yes, I want to put the cloud of Nintendo Power behind my game six times a year for just 15 bucks. Look at that. Neat. It also had a little envelope that you could send off your check-in or your money to subscribe to Nintendo Power for $15. Um, that is, unless you're from Washington or Canada, then you have to add more money. That's kind of a bummer. The really cool thing about some of these Nintendo Power um, flyers and pamphlets were on the back. Were always some tips and tricks. Here is a tips and tricks on how to find all the warps in Super Mario Brothers. When I first got my console, I ripped the box open, threw it up onto the TV. I never really looked at the back of this because I didn't have the money to, you know, subscribe to these things. But here they are, where all the warps are inside Super Mario Brothers. So Nintendo Power was a big thing um, for um, the NES.
console and NES culture. So that about does it, friends. The NES Entertainment System box, all the packaging, all the wrapping, all the manuals. I was pretty excited to find this. Have you ever found anything like this in the back of your mom's closet or your parents' closet or even in the back of grandma's closet? Or even at a garage sale or, or you know secondary shop. Have you ever found anything as cool as this right here? I think this is neat. It might not be worth a lot of money, but to me it's worth the world. Let me know thoughts below in the comments below. Have you found anything cool like this? I'd definitely like to know and see some pictures. Until I see you again, friends, enjoy playing your games.